And now, the Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Well, good morning, everybody. Here's a live look outside our Big Two Studios in Odessa facing Interstate 20. Thanks to that West Texas State Bank Sky Tracker cam for the nice image of Odessa. Traffic running nice and smooth outside here along Interstate 20. Our weather, eh, not so much because we are going to be very hot across our area. Satellite radar picture looking rather smooth out there, but in comparison, but it's really going to be those temperatures that's going to be very hot out there for us today. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We're going to run this model just to show you. We have have this high pressure system in the upper levels of the atmosphere located just to the southwest over the desert southwest. It's a very broad area of high pressure. And basically, this is going to enforce those temperatures and the sunshine to be in full control of our weather environment, giving us very hot temperatures. However, though, here's the good news we do anticipate a cold front, this tail end of this front, that's going to move its way across the basin by tomorrow. And by tomorrow night, we're going to see some moisture from that front hanging around across our area, possibly even give us some thunderstorms at night and some of those could produce some heavy downpours out there and this will last well into our Wednesday morning as well especially across the northern and central basin as you can see maybe even down towards the mountains dealing with some wet weather but first we have to get through today because that is the main story we have excessive heat warnings in effect here for all of the basin and down towards the Trans Pecos and mountains today meanwhile the lighter shade that you see here is in a heat advisory that goes into effect this afternoon all this uh, heat advisory and excessive heat warnings will be expiring here by the evening time frame. Let's break down those headlines for you. We got plenty of sunshine for us to work with. However, record high temperatures are indeed very possible today. In fact, likely, but we are cooling off by midweek. There's the good news. So at least we'll have a break in those temperatures and give us some relief with that rainfall and that drought. 80 degrees is that current temperature in Odessa Midland. 82 currently in Fort Stockton. Meanwhile, into the mountains, we're at 69 degrees down in Marfa. So just shy of 70, looking a little cooler. Day planner does call for these hot temperatures to be sticking around. We're up to 112 degrees by 4 o'clock and by 8 as we round out the day. We're still looking at temperatures around 106 degrees today. So a very hot day pretty much all throughout the hours of the day today. So please exercise caution out there. I would not recommend going outside. Yesterday, not only did we sit 108 degrees today, we broke the daily record of 103 and we broke the all-time record high for August. Today, same story except warmer, 112 degrees. We're going to break the record of 105 set back in 2002. And once again, for the second day in a row, we are going to break the all-time record high for the month of August. Just unheard of out here in West Texas. And for the Northern Basin, pretty much the, around the same territory of high temperatures. 110 today for La Mesa, 112 for Andrews, which is pretty much the same temperature that Odessa Midland is going to see today as well. And also in Grand Falls, we're going to see that high temperature of 112 as well. Just absolutely crazy out here. And the Trans Pecos, we're anywhere from 108 to as high as 112 down in Pecos. Meanwhile, down in Sanderson, 107 and 109 is expected down in Dryden. For the mountains, we still can't escape the heat. We're talking anywhere from 100 to 106 degrees out there across the mountainous terrain. And for the seven-day forecast, we do anticipate about a 12-degree difference as far as those high temperatures go for tomorrow. Well, so we're a little cooler, but still warm out there, around 100 degrees. But we do anticipate a cold front that's going to move through, giving us a 30% chance of some rain showers by tomorrow night into early Wednesday morning. And then the temperatures begin to climb as we hit Thursday and Friday. As we hit the uh, early part of the weekend, we could see a cold front move through once again, giving us cooler temperatures. And we'll see maybe a little slim chance of rain showers as well with that.